What's going on YouTube, Sundeep M3 back again with another video. Hope you guys are enjoying the uploads and as always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share for more videos as we're on the road to hitting 500 subscribers soon. So stay tuned for that. Today's video was a little unexpected. I hopped in the G80 to go to the gym and when I started the car, I saw on the iDrive screen that it said low coolant warning. I'll pop up a screenshot of what I saw in my BMW app as well. So basically, the, I've checked on the forums and saw that people are reporting this issue as well. They're getting it about every 10,000 miles or so on these cars. So I guess that the coolant is kind of um, being depleted and the car is like drinking it a little while it's going through cycling. So what people said online is this is kind of normal, so not really anything to be worried, but just make sure you top it off with coolant. So I'll show you guys what the reservoir and primary tanks look like so you can see as well. So let's go ahead and pop the double latch. So I'll show you guys where the two coolant areas are. Right up there with the yellow tag is the primary one. And this is kind of the backup uh, reservoir. So what we'll do is you see the two yellow arrows, they should always be lined up to identify it's closed. So we're gonna go ahead and twist it off to see what's in there. Basically what I've seen online is there's a minimum and maximum volume uh, indicator. So if the coolant is not at those thresholds, basically that means the secondary reservoir is empty. So let's pop this off, a lot of threads. So right there, does look pretty dry so I'm guessing that's what's the issue here so we'll go ahead and put that back and then we'll check this primary one so what people online also mentioned there's a blue and green type of coolant that you should check the primary one to see what color is in there and then fill that with this reservoir as well I don't know if it's required that much or what's the really the difference some people also diluted the chemical so now that we got that lined up, let's go pop off this one. A lot of threads again. Make sure the car is also cold and not warm as you don't want anything splurging out. So definitely be cautious with that. So this one does look pretty dry as well. You can see a little bit of green. So I'm definitely gonna head to the BMW dealer and I believe as a courtesy, they fill it up for you. If not, I'm just gonna buy my own container and keep it since if this is a common issue, I'm definitely gonna need that. So let's hop in the G80 and head to BMW Mainline real quick. It's only about a 20 minute ride, so I don't expect the temps to get too hot, so we should be fine with that. figured a walk around the showroom really nice x3m comp guess it's java green special paint black interior really nice spec
I4, all the individual colors and interiors, X3 M40, I4, new 7 series. M8 comp, the secure interior, Just leaving the dealer now. They topped off the coolant in about 20 minutes, let the car cool down a little. I can't really check right now, that cap is too hot, so I'm gonna let it sit for the rest of the afternoon and then check back in the evening just to make sure that the secondary is also full as well. So we're just gonna cruise back home now. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Sundeep M3 out.